All right, guys, it's a new day. Got the uh, coilovers tacked in place while I was getting my phone charged up here. And uh, I kind of tacked up the uh, Panhard bar mount. I'm going to see where that, that guy goes. I got a down bar It's going to go here, and that goes down to a slider box. So I'm going to get my bar tacked in and level, and then mock up the Panhard and see what I hit, probably gonna hit the back of this damn cover and the exhaust or some kind of combination of the two. Um, yeah, so I might have to uh, cut that little down piece out and like space it back. All right, got the cross member welded in, shock tabs, cross or uh, coilover mounts welded in. This side's done, got the finish welding that. Got my little bar mounted up in her. Uh, started jacking some stuff up and pop these tacks off of these, uh, what would that be, lower link bars? I had to weld that back on. But uh, mocked everything up. Seems to work pretty good. Took the coilovers back off. These little spacers in there while I welded it. Keep it all going nice. And then, uh, so for the front of the torque arm, excuse my messy ass garage. I got this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I get uh, rotation, like so that the axle can lift up one side or the other and it rotates the torque arm and I don't have any of my parts over here I was thinking like a heim joint inside of a tab or mounting tabs would allow it to get the left right rotation but it doesn't allow it any plunge and the factory mount has a little bit of plunge because as you go up and down and your axe your pinion angle changes the axle wants or the diff wants to like lean back and lean forward it wants to you know it wants to plunge so I was trying to figure out how do I get both of those if I make like a like a wishbone set up a um, couple threads I saw some guys has a little dog bone set up from a BMW or something and I knew what I wanted in my head I just couldn't find the damn words on Google to um, find it to search it or whatever but I found this, it's a pillow block bearing or some crap. It rotates, you know, like a little bearing does, but it's not really as important as what I wanted it to do is be able to have plunge. Let's see if I can lock this up. I wanted it to be able to have some some in and out motion, you know. Yeah, look at that. But also at the same time, I wanted it to have that left and right. So if my rear tire comes up or this one comes up, it still has the articulation that it needs because the lower bars are going to allow it to do that. But I wanted the torque arm to be able to move too, so it's there's no binding whatsoever. It should be completely bind free. I'm hoping. Um, obviously, I, I might need a little longer rod than this. You know, story of my life. But uh, this is just a. Little, I think it was a shackle I had laying around for uh, like a front bumper on a four wheel drive truck or something so I just pulled that out it happened to be the same size so I'm using this for mock up uh, obviously I'm going to have to get like a big old long one inch rod and figure out a way to brace that into my torque arm but this kind of shows what my my uh, little front mount is going to look like so if I want to change my pinion angle where this flat plate will be um, I can just add some like a plate under it or put like a nut or something under it on the mounting bolts and you move it left right a little bit but mainly I can adjust it up and down off of the mounting plate so that I can change pinion angle if I need to. So theory looks great. We'll see how that works in application. <clears throat> I got uh, bits and pieces ready to go start making this cross member going across so I'm going to go ahead and start on that. Start making the front mount cross member and uh, 
Hopefully that goes decent. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do. I'm trying to use this, uh, this inch and a quarter 120 wall tubing. Should be pretty strong enough. I'm going to make a, a straight shot above the exhaust, kind of going under the, um, the drive shaft. Make kind of a loop out of it, drive shaft loop. And I'm putting these little uh, removable tube end jobs in there. So you take the nut out and the two pieces of tube can separate so I can still drop that member if I need to. And then somehow off of that I'm going to triangulate that into, you know, come back to the frames and make little triangles. And I'm also going to brace it to transmission cross member so that that's all tied together and strong. So here's me attempting that. Alright guys, welcome back. So I got stuff done and things. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna pull out the axle. I got Kirk here. He's gonna help me. Say hi Kirk. Hi Kirk. And we're gonna take the axle out and then I can weld it. And then I can take it to Bry so he can do all the stuff to it and make it all good. And then we'll put it back in. So here's me doing that. Alright, we got the rear axle, the rear diff, welded up. I uh, loaded it up, take it to Bryce's shop so he can do all the magic stuff and things to it. Uh, also got a pretty new piece from Kirk. Running a Holly EFI. Let me guys see it. Ugh. So the little tablet fucking screen thing three and a half inch 
made this little uh, mount goes in there. He's also got a few other options with a uh, under dash type mount. You can see that it's got the little holes for some quarter inch screws, little reinforcements on the back, so you mount that under your dash. And he's got one coming out with a GoPro base on the bottom of it, so you can put that anywhere you go, your pro. So that's cool. Uh, if you guys got any suggestions for a mount that you want to make, get in touch with me. I can shoot it his way and see if we can get anything made up for you. But that's it for now. We're going to get this rear end uh, rebuilt and all the magic and stuff and bolt everything back in, mock it up, and start building that torque arm going up to the front. So do all the liking and subscribing and commenting and ask me questions and stuff. I uh, appreciate those of you guys that are watching. Thanks, and stay tuned for next week's show. Say bye, Kirk. Bye, Kirk. <laughs>